Hey everybody, welcome back to Matt's Ice Cream Show. Welcome back to Matt's Ice Cream Show today. We're sitting in my room talking to myself. Again, welcome back everybody. I'm sitting in my room talking to myself. We're reviewing ice cream. Everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing Dole Whip. Uh, this is actually new. I saw it in the food line. You guys have food lines where you're from? I don't know. They're a big thing down south. Anyway, uh, this is a strawberry flavor with no artificial ingredients and real fruit. Finally, I love when they put real such and such. I guess it is good, but it's also like, well, what else we're using? Oh, that's right, chemicals. Uh, anywho, the calorie conscious crowd is one serving of 100 calories per cup. And this is, let's see. Trying to read it for you guys. You know, one of the strawberry puree, organic coconut cream, honey plant based stabilizer, gum, gum, and a lot of other big words that I don't know what they mean or know how to pronounce. And it is dairy free, as you can see in this little cup right here. Sorry, guys. Uh, you know, I see items sometimes, and I, I don't want to ask you uh, before I jump into this. Also, if you're new and you don't like me rambling on, <laughs> get over it. Uh, no, just just move forward. Go two, three, four minutes, and you'll hear me rambling and give you a score because that's what people. I'm like, ah, I got a score right away. Uh, anyway, um, two things. One, should I do a factory tour at some point and show you from start to finish how ice cream is made? And two, which is an even bigger question. Because, you know, sometimes the ice cream world is kind of like there's some gray areas. And one of the gray areas is non-dairy desserts or things that are in the frozen section but aren't actually ice cream, don't have dairy in it, aren't cream. Because the Merriam-Webster definition of ice cream as opposed to the FDA definition of ice cream, they're two different things. Merriam-Webster is very broad, exceptionally, exceptionally broad. So should I do just regular popsicles, like no dairy, no nothing, just like they basically taste like orange or, I mean, they're like frozen Kool-Aid basically. Let me know in the comments below. And I'm gonna go ahead and jump into it. I was waiting for this because some of these problems with these, they get frozen fast, but they also take a little bit to unfreeze. So I'm gonna shut up now. Who's ever had these before? Let me know, put it in the comments below or let me know. Sorry, I know you guys can't see it. Sometimes it's hard to see. Put it in the comments below. You see, good dude. These are almost reminiscent of this other brand that we did before. Oh man, what are they called? I apologize to that brand. I can't think of the name of your brand. Anyway, they're, they're kind of similar to that as far as the way they look. As you can see, it does have a little creaminess to it. I assume that's the coconut cream or whatever it is. Also, I do I use a lot of different shirts. I think maybe I should just gonna get one type of shirt, like one color, and use that the rest of the time. But anywho. Not bad. Definitely has a um, strawberry flavor to it, but not that traditional creaminess. You can taste that honey and that um, coconut cream in there. It, honestly, it throws it off a little bit to me. It almost tastes like a frozen version of a daiquiri. Yeah. It definitely has that, like, I don't know vegan-ish tape of like taste of like they tried but you can't emulate cream but so well if it's not actual dairy so that's kind of what I'm getting from this so anywho this is definitely it just tastes like a frozen daiquiri to be honest I'm gonna go ahead and give it a rating because there's really not much more I could say about it sweetness is definitely more organic uh, the density is not bad the creaminess, it's definitely lacking creaminess. It has like this underlying like honey, coconut-ish type flavor that in my opinion kind of takes away from the strawberry. The strawberry is kind of there, but again, it almost tastes like a frozen daiquiri. That, that, that's how I would, I would describe it. So scale of one to 10, I always do that. Always do that. I've done probably 200 shows now and I always mess that up. Scale of one to 100, one to 100. 10 point grading scale, I'm gonna give this, I'm gonna give it like a 75, guys. I'm not very impressed by this, honestly. I'm really not. Um, to be honest, it's kind of dull. <laughs> dull, dull. <laughs> Bad joke, anyway. Uh, it's really nothing special. I'll give it like a 75. Nothing, nothing impressive. Sweetness is not that great. The ingredients overall are just okay. Definitely wouldn't go out of my way to get it. Anyway. 
You guys go out there, check it out. Let me know what you think. Put it in the comments below. See if you can find it. It's new, apparently. Also, while you're there, what did you think about last ice cream? I thought it was pretty good. Make sure to go check out that ice cream. See if you can find it. Put it in the comments. Love talking to you guys about prior ice creams. Love talking to you guys in general. Comments in, in Matt's ice cream show. Party in Matt's ice cream show comment section. Sorry, guys. Shout outs to everybody who shows up every week. Thank you so much. Tell your friends. Tell your family. Um, I wish I had better things to say about this, but maybe you guys will like it. Go out there. Try it out. Let me know what you think. Like I said, check the links below. Come eat ice cream with, with me every week. I'm on Rumble. I'm on YouTube. Eventually, I will be branching out to other platforms. Thank you so much for listening to me ramble, and I will see you next time. See you next time, guys.